So what we're doing today is we're going to set up a ground blind and we're going to set up a mock scrape. Now what I'm doing right now is I'm just back here where I'm thinking about putting the blind, just getting some ranges and figuring out how I'm going to come in and exit this thing. And I'm thinking about putting it right here, tucked back in the woods a little bit. Got about pretty much the farthest shot would be about 30 yards to the very far end of this thing. So that's looking pretty good. So I'm thinking about I'm probably going to set this thing probably right here. And then basically I can enter from up this hill, walk down this valley, come up this hill, creep right into this thing. And if I brush this in real good, it should be pretty awesome. What I think I'm going to do now, before I do anything, I think I'm going to cut me a trail going down over that hill and then bring all them branches and everything that I cut back up to place right in here. Let's get to it. There it is. I shifted it over a little bit. I felt like it tucks in there a little bit better and I got a pretty good exit and entry route. So the whole point of that blind being set there is not to kill does. We're not even gonna shoot any does off of this. We're after that buck. We haven't named him yet. Maybe you can help us. And after my wife's first buck, so that four pointer, six pointer, whatever he's gonna come into, I just feel like that's an absolute perfect first buck. So if you have any name suggestions, if you like naming deer, let me know, man, because you've been a part of this from day one, so you got to say too. But anyway, that's why that's there. We're hoping early season that that buck stays on the same pattern that he's kind of doing right now, and we can get her on that buck. By the way, if you was wondering how the food plot looks after we did all that cutting on it, it is beautiful. Look, we got chicory again coming up. Chicory all out through there. Beautiful, beautiful clovers, man. Just tons and tons of clovers. So we still gotta spray it, that's coming. But for now, enjoy the trail cameras. So now what we're doing, because we are focusing on that buck, is setting up a mock scrape to try to get this little buck coming in here, or any bucks really, but that's what we're trying to do we're setting this up to kill that little sucker the big rage nowadays is basically to plant a tree as a mock scrape so let's go find a little oak tree and get this mock scrape in the ground i got my bug spray Trying to pick this tree up for three hours. We have. This is our scrape Christmas tree. Thank you enough for helping me put up this ground blind, helping us pick out and put up this scrape tree. Like I said, hopefully we can get that little buck. There's actually another little buck showing up. Hopefully we can get that for one of our wife's first deer, or not first deer, first bucks. It'd be, well, I guess it'd be your wife's first deer. How about Maybe. your wife? Are you married? Hopefully this works. If it does, we'll be sure to show you. Now we're gonna throw up a trail camera, watching all this. Again, thanks for your help, and I cannot wait for fall. But we got a lot more projects to do, so I hope you're free next weekend. And until next time, hunt till it hurts. Ow! I totally missed. <laughs> <laughs> I missed, hunt till it hurts.